so <coughs> now we want to discuss this activity this is called poultry farming and through poultry farming we are rearing some bird on the farm so this is also the agriculture activity and there is also another activity of agriculture its name is livestock so livestock we also rear on the farm and because of this that as a very good activity and they add something the economy of the country as well as in the world so it is necessary for everyone to uh, know that what is agriculture and what type of activity include in agriculture already i have told to you it is uh, the activity we, uh, the biology growth and the farm through scientific and scientific way is called agriculture so in these activity uh, those things are come which we are rearing the living organism which are living and we rear on the farm so the biology divided into two part one as zoology and the second one is the uh, crops uh, uh, botany so the study of plant is called botany and the study of animal is called uh, zoology so again these zoology and botany divided into other part there uh, you have also knowledge about what is microbiology it is linked with the zoology and there is also anatomy of the crops and anatomy of the animal and sometimes we use the word of morphology morphology is also one branch of the biology so they there they study the morphological uh, feature of the living organism so uh, it is a, a very a good activity and through this way more people they rear on the farm and they produce uh, the output and there are so many university are working there is a one big university agriculture university Faisalabad and the second university name is agriculture university Peshawar there is some activity also doing in Abdul Khan University and some activity also doing in the Khan University. So these university produce students and they expel to them and then they go to field, they do the activity of agriculture and they identify new variety and these variety then increase the production of the crops such a type activity in, in Amir Mamad Khan campus nowadays is going on and there they have produced the seed of two variety one name as <coughs> Wadan Dozar Satra and the second name is Hesta Dozar Satra and these uh, there they produce the seed and then this seed will be distributed among the farmer of KPK and through this way the production of KPK will be improved and the problem of food will be solved and the price level of the flour as well as the wheat will be going downward and the poor people very easily purchase these things nowadays there the inflation of the wheat is more and maize is more but our university uh, agriculture university Peshawar play a great role because they identify the good variety and they innovate the good variety and then they give these variety to the farmer and the farmer grow in the field and through this way they <coughs> increase the production of the country you know, there is a good university, there uh, will be good innovation and if there is good innovation automatically the production will be more and the economy weight will be improved more and more so already I have told to you there is a production and consumption in the economy someone produce and someone consume 
so it is necessary for you these all production and consumption anywhere in the country is going on they link with the uh, economy economy divided into two major part one name as uh, urban economy and the second one is rural economy any activity any production any consumption which is going on in rural area this is called we included in to rural economy but any production and consumption which is going on in urban area this is uh, called the urban economy we included in the urban economy but on the other side economy is measured with the help of gnp gdp and nnp so first of all we come to gdp gdp is the gross domestic product which is produced in a year in a country there the foreign people which have industry or some activity in our country so we also include in the gdp but our people also work in foreign when we calculate estimated the gnp so there we deduct the share of the foreign but we add the share of our people who are working outside the country this is called gnp but as it be there we uh, reduce the depreciation value of the machinery from the gnp and the resulting figure is called uh, uh, nnp net national product but there we have also something which is called personal income disposable income if a person and something this is called personal income but sometime some tax are uh, uh, deducted from the personal income and the remaining income is a disposable income and disposable income is a debt income here the person is ready to invest anywhere to purchase anything on this uh, income and the remaining income which is left from the disposable income this is called saving and the people mostly use saving for the purpose of uh production they invest the money in some area and they earn something so this is a very valuable activity and these are activity come in the rural economy so we have only today mention only the agriculture sector that uh, which is the primary sector of the economy and uh, the economy uh uh divided into three sector so primary secondary tertiary but today we have discuss only the agriculture sector and i have told to you the biology growth on the farm through scientific way or artificial way is called agriculture so we have rare some poultry there and i have also identified the poultry farming there uh, we are working for the commercial purpose and we want to sell these poultry and um, get some uh, extra revenue but uh, nowadays this project is a very small and they have no return but we have investing the money and this money in the long run will return some thing so it was a small video which i have done about the poultry farming and agriculture activity that i have told to you biology growth on the farm through scientific way is called agriculture raising of crops and livestock on the farm is called agriculture so you will uh, you will know that agriculture link with the biology growth on the farm to scientific and artistic way but this agriculture link with the rural economy and they add something there and already i have told to you that nowadays at share is 19.5 percent but this share in before was only um 50 to 53 percent when pakistan get the freedom from the british Uh, in 1947 uh, so the production uh, uh, 
there the share of agriculture was more but now agriculture is going upward and when the agriculture is going upward automatically they improve uh, the other industry in the country and now the share of industry before was 9% but now it reached to 18% and on the other side they are, there are some institution they produce the pupil for services so the services share is more than the other mother sector in the economy so we have discussed that the economy divided into three main part primary secondary tertiary and today we have only discussed two part one is agriculture sector in the second there we have only uh, discussed the poultry farming uh, it was small video now we want to conclude this video and you listen it and you share it with other colleagues and you also go to rural area and there you check the situation what thing is going there there you will see the production or consumption these all things come in the economy of the rural area in this economy which is going in rural area this is called rural economy but uh, if uh, we calculate all the uh, production and consumption activity of rural area of Pakistan. This is called rural economy of Pakistan. Okay. Uh, Wassalam. Pakistan Zindabad. Agriculture University Zindabad. My name is Dr. Noshat Khan, Assistant Professor, Agriculture University. And especially I have made this video for student of rural economy a uh, Pakistan uh, which uh, which belong to uh, rural sociology and pal rural sociology so they will uh, uh, learn this thing and there we have also put some question on this video and they will give the answer of this question was salam